My name is Rachel Shiam, and I'm the chair of the Quiet Earth Association. Quiet Earth Association has been going for about eight years now, and it emerged as an inspiration from working on a two-story load-bearing straw bale house here. And it involved about 200 people from around the world coming to help on the house, learn techniques. It was overseen by women, um, myself and a few other women, and mostly women built the house. And what we noticed was there was a gap in education in terms of sustainable and natural building and also sustainable living and that there were many people who wanted to learn and were starving for information and didn't want to go to university to learn it all. So we set up the organisation in order to be able to get funding, to be able to run courses, retreats for people to actually come and experience living sustainably and then maybe take it back to their lives. Um, so it emerged from that really and it's just grown and it's been such a joy to be part of. Well, how the organisation came about making, creating this poem was I was sent the info about the competition and just suddenly felt inspired to actually readdress what we were about. So I sent an email to a few of the main, the main members of, of this group and those who have kind of really been involved in it. And I sent, asked them all to write a poem. Uh, I also, my mother, who's been really inspired by this project, <laughs> she wanted to write a poem too, because she helped with this house. Um, so everybody wrote a poem, and I was so moved by the poems that came. They were so from the heart. Um, and so I selected lines from each poem, somehow made a poem from words that everyone had contributed. So. I was aware it wasn't a perfect poem and that it was slightly abstract and surreal because it came from about six different people, but also that actually the message of it came from the right place. And I thought, well, this sums it up. This is how this was created. Well, I just feel this project does have a life of its own and it had a life of its own right from the beginning when we started on the foundations of this house. You know, I never put out for any publicity with this this project and somehow it's created a lot of publicity and then it ended up being voted the Grand Designs Eco House of the Year Award in the UK a couple of years ago, um, which was very humbling. But it's also it's a really important message because it's about the simplicity of living and also about just the gifts of living in nature, really.